So guys, today I'm going to go and do uh, a not 60 benchmark time and a quarter mile benchmark time in the Citroen C6. Uh, and the main reason for doing it today is next week, so today is Saturday, and on Monday I'm taking this car to have a light remap which hopefully will take us from 201 brake horsepower or whatever this car has left after 12 years and 100,000 miles and maybe about, I don't know, 370 to maybe 380 pounds foot of torque which is quite a lot uh, so before we do that I wanted to give this a go and uh, sort of set a benchmark and then do it again after the map so I can let you know what difference that has made to everything. And the other issue you get with this car, which I've noticed and I have read a bit about, on, is that when you really want to get a rhythm on, when you put your foot, you know, when you want to accelerate from standstill, there's a, there's a big delay between putting your foot on the floor and anything much happening. Now, I'm not sure what that's down to, but I am reliably informed by my uh, friends who are doing the map that they can map that out. Now, I'm going to take it easy today because the other thing that I haven't done on Monday is a cam belt change, water pump, thermostat housing, and a gearbox oil change because the gearbox, although this is running pretty well now, had two new EGR valves. I've had a new turbo pipe that was split and it's running pretty well but the gearbox isn't right for me uh, and apparently changing the oil on those after 100,000 miles we say, or the fluid on those should I say is a pretty sensible step to take so I'm hoping again that when I pick this car up we'll have much better changes it's fine most of the time but when the when the fluid gets warm um, it starts to play all sorts of silly games so I'd like that eradicated if possible now it's been raining on and off all day today I don't know if you can see the grey or the threatening clouds um, but I don't think we're going to be troubled by wheel spin uh, in the C6 if I'm honest so whether it rains or not makes really no difference so just driving to my friends, that was a funny noise, I like the sound of that. Um, just driving to my friend's got a farm and he's got a two mile dry lucky blow which is all the time out so he lets me use that for these things. So, so anyway, shall we get a run, now we're in place, shall we get a run underway, see how we go and let's go. Come on mate. So that gave me a 9.55 to 60 and a 15.46 quarter mile. Now the quarter mile is pretty decent because the uh, I think the claim for these is 16.5 from memory. So quite happy with that. But the 0 to 60, the problem is, and I'll do it again. And I'll tell you when I'm putting my foot on the floor. So I'll do it. I'm going to do two more runs. I'm going to do one like I did there, where I just put my foot on the floor. I'm not going to um, and I'm going to count. I'm going to let you know when I put my foot hard down, and you'll see what sort of delay we're getting. And then my other theory that I've got, but whether it'll be any quicker, is if you should get the car rolling a bit without full throttle. So if you sort of go three quarters throttle get it a bit underway and then plant your foot but that seems a bit more effective. Okay so this is just the planting so I'm going to tell you when I put my foot hard down and you'll see how laggy it is. So I'm going to go on north. Three, two, one, north. That's when it goes just about there it picks up and gets a bloody rig on. Oh, 
So that one, quarter mile time was down. Interestingly, it's a 6.67, and I got 9.65 on the 0 to 60 now. Um, so I'm going to do one last one. Should I rev it up a bit on the? Oh, that's better. Oh, that is better. You can got some wheel spinny. So I held that on the brake a little bit, gave it a bit of revs, and then when it felt like she was uh, all converted, was spinning up a bit, I let it go, and that's pretty much, I think, what the book says, 8.62. Anyway, lovely uh, YouTube folk, I hope you found that of interest. I realise it's a bit like putting a hoodie on the Queen, uh, getting a car to do a 0-60 time and a standing quarter mile. I was very interested to know um, what difference the map makes. It's really a talk map, so uh, in theory it's about getting the ridge range better. But in theory, if you're throwing another 40 brake horsepower at it and another 40 or 50 pound foot of torque, then it's going to help all round. So I'll let you know. Wouldn't it be good if we could get it below? What would I be happy with? Well, I'm happy with it as it is. It's plenty fast enough for a big old uh, bus. But if we could get it just below eight seconds, like 7.9 something, maybe 15 for the quarter mile. Another couple of miles per gallon. Uh, I think that would be money well spent. It'll be interesting after the map to see uh, where we get to. So I hope you're going to tune back in for that. If you hit the subscribe bell, then you'll get a notification, hopefully, of when that video comes up, I guess, um, when I put it up, because I'm not quite sure when it will be, hopefully some point next week. The other thing I'm going to do with this car when it's all fettle and it's running in a way that I'm happy with, which certainly isn't at the moment, then I'm going to do what I call a proper review of the car, so, uh, you know, uh, how's everything work and what's it like to live with and, you know, costs and jobs that we've done and what have you. So, again, there'll be at least a couple more of these heading down the track, so... Uh, yeah, stay tuned and take care of yourselves.